Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, very quickly, I will show you how to, how to install the Elden Ring mods. So if you're curious about playing a game without the usual route, should I say, and you want to experiment a bit more, or maybe add some variety into the game, which is quite possible these days, uh, you just need to install a certain application. Actually, there's two main ways of installing the mods, which is first one is going to be our beautiful Nexus Mods application. So this is going to be the one that I will recommend always, almost always. I've used it many times. I used it for Skyrim. I used it for Elden Ring. I used it for other games as well. It works amazingly. It has also the auto installation feature, which is great. So type in Nexus Mods in your Google search. Go to the website. Guys, you will have to log in, of course. For the sake of this video, I will not be logged in. But guys, in general, in the website to navigate, just search for Elden Ring. Elden Ring, okay. It's going to be under games. You need games. Click on it. And now, as you can see, this is the section for Elden Ring mods. And as you can see, currently we have 5.6 thousand mods. That's insane. That's a lot of mods, to be honest. And guys, now the part on how to install it, right? So let's say you want to pick let's say the first mod summoning pools activated right so when entering the page you will have different tabs in here right the description it's also going to tell you oftentimes sometimes doesn't but oftentimes it tells you how to install the mod as you can see install you need to go to see users app data roaming Elden ring very large number and put the files into that folder so they're basically mod mod files you need to, to put into this installation path. All right, so you go to files and you press on manual download if you want to uh, basically install the mods without the usage of this mod manager, which I will also show uh, now. So let us download it and install it. Okay, guys, after uh, downloading this file, as you can see, we will have this uh, basically uh, file over here in the archive. So what you need to do is just to open it up. This is going to be a save. So this is the mod for a save. So this will basically allow us to unlock every single summoning. In uh, Dark Souls, it's called uh, Bonfire. Uh, in Elden Ring, I believe it's called uh, Sights of Grace. So this will allow you, when you start the game, for the very first time, you will have all of the summoning uh, pools activated. So you can teleport all over the map easily. It's a cheating. Thing, basically I consider it as pure cheating but if it's something that you're into now guys as you can see the installation part is going to be right over here and this is how you install you just grab these files you navigate to your save folder in your computer is going to be as you can see your username is going to be different it's not going to be users it's going to be your username app data roaming Elden Ring and it's going to be a number and to that folder you put those files and after that the uh, mod is basically installed it's very easy also in terms of the mod manager to download the uh, mod manager you just press on vortex right here press on start download and it's going to download the uh, vortex application for some reason it doesn't all right let us go back to the website so let us find where we can actually download the vortex there you go vortex mod manager download right now you go to manual also make sure to install uh, these things i believe on my pc they are installed already so press on download all right now our file is downloading as you can see okay after downloading guys just press on it to install the application it's very easy install very easy to install and use Right, run Vortex. It's called Vortex, it's just their um, official application to install the mods for different games. So, oh, I actually need to install this. Okay, let us fix that. I suppose it's going to be installed automatically. So this is what it looks like, right? So you just go to the games section. Oh, it's gonna install the variables, okay. Okay, it's installed now, good. Do not skip that. Now go to games. And in here, guys, you need to add your first game. Right in here, search for Elden Ring. There you go. 
manage. Now, support, support for this game is provided through the extension to use. You have to download the extension and restart Vortex. Download. All right, you need to also log in with your Vort uh, sorry, Nexus mod uh, accounts. Authorize. Continue. Back to the app. Okay, installing the game now. Let's wait. Okay, it's now installed. Now it's back. As you can see, Elden Ring hasn't been hasn't been automatically discovered. You will have to set the game folder manual. And now, guys, basically to do that, just uh, follow in, in uh, with your uh, basically file explorer into the direction where you have your Elden Ring installed. As you can see, in my case, it's in the games folder. Select the folder. And as you can see, it's going to change, uh, sorry, ask for the game store. In my case, it's going to be Steam. Select. And guys, as you can see, now uh, you can install the mods. Uh, you can also install the tools. It's very, very easy as well. You can uh, also check out the introduction video. Okay, guys, and after that, you can easily uh, use this tool to install the mods uh, automatically without needing to mess around with the files. For example, uh, let us say you want to install this talisman description. You go to this page, you go to files, you find the talisman description file, and as you can see, it's going to be um, either supported or not supported via the um, application so some mods uh, support it some don't let's find one that supports it for example the seamless co-op this should support automatic install and now guys if you want to install the mod you just go to mods as you can see there's elden ring this is our game uh, and just install from file you press on that you find that archive that we have previously downloaded and it's going to be automatically installed for you you don't have to mess around with the files and that's how you install the Elden Ring mods, uh, guys. Go ahead and browse, download any mod, install it automatically, and have fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Enjoy playing Elden Ring. It's an amazing game, honestly. Uh, and yeah, press thumbs up if this helped. Subscribe. See you in the next one.